Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline and today's video is going to be reading my screen time for a week. So basically a couple weeks ago I screenshotted my screen time every day for a week and my average was 3 hours and 25 minutes. No, 3 hours and 28 minutes, which honestly isn't that bad, but I think it could still be lower, especially if I read for half of that time every day. Um, so today is Sunday. I think it was last Sunday. Um, I was on my phone for four and a half hours. So today is definitely one of the longer days of this week, but I'm going to read for four and a half hours. Um, let's do this. The book that I'm reading right now is One Italian Summer, and this is a pretty short book. So I think I could probably finish this today, um, and then I can start a new book. So that's the plan. But first, coffee. Coffee secured. All right, guys, so I listened to my audiobook spare a little bit on the car drive, but I still have four hours and seven minutes left. Oh, okay, I will be, like, listening to spare a few times in this video just when I can't read when I'm in the car and I don't want to get car sick or whatever. Um, but I won't be talking about spare because I am filming a different video with spare in it, and that will be up after this video, so just stay tuned for my thoughts on spare. But I'm going to read One Italian Summer now. I really want to try to finish it today because um, I've been reading it for kind of a while. I'm going to click resume and keep reading. I just finished One Italian Summer and I have two hours and 31 minutes left. I really liked it. I definitely didn't like it as much as In Five Years. Both of the books I've read by her in five years and this um, are very heavy on grief. Like they talk, that's like pretty much like the main theme of the books. Um, but it was still really good. I loved the scenery and it was really interesting. She had, she posted emails, um, like real emails that she wrote, um, at the very end of the book. Um, but basically the book is mostly set at this hotel called Hotel Poseidon, um, in Italy. And she, and apparently that's a real hotel and she visited that hotel and then wrote this book like based off of that hotel, which I think is really, really cool. Y'all can see how much I tabbed. Like all of these were like quote worthy to me, but it was just really, really pretty and definitely made me want to go to Italy. I rated this a 3.75 stars. Because it's literary fiction, it's not as plot driven. It's more character driven and theme driven. And but so I kind of got bored at times because of the lack of plot. Um, and so that's why I was a 3.75. Like I said, two and a half, um, hours left. It's hard to, like, dive right into another book after finishing that, but I will get back to y'all once I pick a book and continue reading. Okay, I have decided what the next book I'm going to read is. I'm going to read This Is Where It Ends. This isn't a mystery. Maybe it is. It's just fiction. I think it's YA fiction, but all I know about it is that it's, um, about a school shooting. I didn't know that this was multiple POVs, so it sounds like they all have, like, kind of problems going on in their own lives, besides, obviously, the school shooting. Alright, so I just went on a quick walk, and I listened to more Spare. So I'm only down to 56 minutes now, um, and I'm just gonna do the last hour reading. This is where it ends. This book is making me so anxious. It definitely feels realistic, and... I'm trying to figure out, it's hard to keep track of like all the different characters, just like it'll be easier once I keep reading, but I'm just trying to figure out like who's who's sibling and who's related to who and whatever, um, like who's dated who, you know, all of those things. Alright guys, that is the timer for my four and a half hours. Um, Sunday was a success. I will say it was kind of hard just because I started later in the day. So definitely the next few days, I think I'll plan on starting earlier in the day. I got pretty far in This Is Where It Ends. I got to page 110. Um, so I'm going to stop reading for tonight and pick back up tomorrow um, for Monday. Hi guys, it is Monday and it is 9 40 a.m all right let's see how long i have to read today Ooh, monday is an even worse day than sunday was so i mean just by a little bit but monday i was on my phone for four hours and 39 minutes i'm going to see the barbie movie tonight or like this afternoon so i want to try to get like a good chunk of it done this morning before i leave 
because when I get back it'll be like nighttime and then I'll just have to read like in the evening you know all right so let's set the timer it's almost noon and I'm still been reading I kind of feel like I'm going insane okay I have like about three hours left so I'm gonna read for probably like half an hour more 15 minutes more and then I'm gonna make lunch and then go see the Barbie movie I'm literally on page like I'm almost on page 200 and like only half an hour has gone by which is pretty insane I'm gonna keep reading Let's keep going. I have two hours and 47 minutes left. I'm gonna take a break to go get lunch and then I'm gonna go see the Barbie movie. I think I'll be back by like five, hopefully. I just don't wanna have to like stay up till midnight reading, which it may happen someday this week, but I'm trying to avoid it. All right, it is 6.20 and I'm going to read a little bit more before dinner. I'm gonna go eat dinner real fast and then continue. We have two hours and 20 minutes left. So it might be a late night, um, but it's getting good. I, I'm excited. I'm almost to the end. So, like, I'm. I guess I'm at the climax. Honestly, it feels like this entire book is like the climax. And there's also secrets that are coming out about the characters that are really fascinating. I ate dinner, and I'm going to read for another two hours and 21 minutes, and then I'm gonna get a snack, get a get some dessert, um, and watch Grey's Anatomy. That's my incentive to do this last two and a half hours. So I just gotta push through. I'm kind of tearing up a bit. I'm on page 267. This book is really sad. I'm gonna need like a light fluffy romance at the like next. All right, I just finished This Is Where It Ends. I rated it a 4.5 stars. I really liked it. It's about a school shooting. There's different point of views um, and there's like I thought it would just focus on like the school shooting but there's problems going on in like all of the people's lives and secrets are unveiled throughout the book it all takes place in like a very in like an hour like the entire book takes place in an hour um which you'd think you'd get bored of it but i actually find it found it really um interesting and captivating so i definitely recommend this is where it ends after that read, I really need like a happy, fluffy romance. So I was thinking between Kisses and Croissants and It Happened One Summer, but It Happened One Summer, I've just been eyeing and I think I'll really enjoy it. It's like the perfect happy read. I've read a Tessa Bailey book before and I really liked it. Um, and I just have to read this this summer. It Happened One Summer is a grumpy sunshine romance between Piper and Brendan. It's a small town romance. I think it's a bit of enemies to lovers. But I'm very excited. I think I'll like this. Right. I have one hour and 42 minutes left. And I'm going to finish that time by reading It Happened One Summer. Okay, I'm literally only six pages in. But I despise Adrian so much. He is so mean. He reminds me. This reminds me so much of Legally Blonde. Like, the, the beginning scene where he breaks up with her at that restaurant. Like, Adrian is very much giving Warner. But even worse. It is 9.46 and I'm done reading for Monday. I got to page 70 but I will see y'all tomorrow. It is Tuesday and it is 8.20 a.m. On Tuesday I was on my phone for two hours and 58 minutes which isn't that bad. Um, so today should be an easier day. Alright, I ate breakfast. I'm in comfy clothes. I'm in my little reading corner that I've set up and I am ready to start the timer. I just read the scene where Brendan downloads Instagram and he's like stalking her Instagram and it's so funny like him. He's like surrounded by all his fisherman friends and he's trying to figure out Instagram. And he's like, what does the blue check mark mean? And it was just a really funny scene. I forgot um, how funny Tessa Bailey's writing is. I still have an hour left, so let's keep reading. All right, you guys, my timer just went off. It's 11. I'll see y'all tomorrow. It is Wednesday, and it is 10.30. Oh, okay, Wednesday might have been, like, my lowest of the entire week. Wednesday was an hour and 44 minutes. That's not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to plug it into the timer. But it is now at 6.40. I've read for almost an hour and I only have 55 minutes left. I'm getting to the point in like the middle where I'm kind of getting bored just because 
I don't know, it doesn't feel like much is happening right now. Um, but hopefully that will pick up. Alright guys, that was my timer. I'm probably going to read like a little bit more. They have really good communication. Like, they just, um, had like a, an entire conversation about like, their worries, their insecurities, like, their past, and it was just, like, a really good, deep conversation that they needed to have. And I also love Hannah and um, Piper's relationship because they're sisters, but they don't, like, always have to be with each other, you know? Like, they let each other have their space and do their separate things, but they still have a really close bond, which I also think is really healthy. Hi, guys. It is Thursday. If you can hear that noise, that's my fan. It's 6.30 a.m. I don't, don't know why I woke up this early. There's no point in waking up this early, but I can't fall back asleep. So here we are. So today we're gonna read for two hours and 27 minutes. That's the plan. Let's go. Coffee is secured. Now we can start reading. I have 33 minutes left and five seconds, but I think it is gonna take me a little bit longer to finish this book. So I think no matter what, I'm just gonna finish the book today because I'm so close. Um, but we're gonna finish the 33 minutes first, probably. Who knows, maybe I'll like speed read and I'll finish it before the timer goes off, but we'll see. All right guys, I just finished It Happened One Summer and I actually have six minutes left. So I think I'll start my next book um, later tonight and we'll just finish off the six minutes and I'll like read the first few chapters. Um, but I finished The Happen One Summer. I really liked this book. Um, I liked, I definitely liked this more than um, the other Tessa Bailey book I read. She has so many books, but I read Fixer Up, which I really liked and I loved the tropes in that book, but like the plot line wasn't my favorite. I rated this a 4.25. They were just so cute. I loved them so much. I loved Brendan. He was like such a nice guy. Um, and I'm so excited for the second book. So that is the third book of the video. Um, so I will check back in with y'all once I figure out my next read. Alright guys, it is later in the day now, and I still have those 6 minutes and 16 seconds now. It's like 10.30pm. Um, but I decided I'm going to read Bridgerton next. Um, so another romance. I think most people know the plot of Bridgerton, but if you don't, it's set in the 1800s. And the first book, which is between Simon, Simon and Daphne, is about... Um, basically it's like fake dating trope. I haven't seen Bridgerton, but I like know the plot line. I've seen like clips and stuff. Let's start it. All right, that is the timer for Thursday. I only got like four pages in. I will see y'all on Friday. Hi guys, it is Friday. Um, it is 12.02 in the morning. And the reason why I'm, I am awake right now is because I found out that Friday is my longest reading day. On Friday, I was on my phone for 4 hours and 48 minutes. That is the longest um, reading day I have for this entire video. And tonight, I have a hair appointment and then I'm going um, out of town. Like 5 hours of reading. That's a lot of reading, you know, and I'm gonna have to do it all during the day, which is fine. I'm excited, but I thought I could get a head start on it right now and then go to sleep and then wake up and continue reading. So I'm gonna read. It may be for one minute, it may be for one hour. We're gonna see. Probably in between that time frame, but let's set the timer. I already put in my first tap because I'm tapping it. This is my tapping system. So blue is like little family moments and then um pink is romance but i love anthony and daphne's um like brother sister relationship i think it's really sweet all right you guys it is 1 a.m and i stopped the timer um i read for about 47 minutes which is pretty good um that's 47 minutes that i won't have to fit in later today I'm going to go to sleep and then wake up, probably get some coffee or some form of caffeine and keep reading. It's getting really good. I really like it. I love like the family element to it. Like she's at a ball right now and she's with all her brothers 
and it's just really sweet. It is 10.30. It is later today on Friday. Let's start reading. Okay, Daphne and Simon just made their deal. And when I was, like, kind of explaining the book, I didn't really explain much of the plot at the beginning, um, like, before I started reading it, but I can kind of explain it now. Um, so basically they also have not only is it best friend's brother trope, but it's also like kind of like fake dating trope They decided to pretend to be courting each other so that Daphne looks more desirable to other men and So that her mom gets off her back of like trying to like introduce her to all these guys and then for him There are all these mothers um, in they call it the ton I think but it's like in like the high society group of London um, who are trying to introduce him to their daughters um, and trying to get him to like marry their daughters so that will get all of them off his back because they'll think that he's unavailable because he's with Daphne. Alright guys, I have the last 20 minutes to do. I'm at a good part right now and I brought my annotating stuff. Okay you guys, my timer went off but I'm in like a really good scene right now. I'm not going to spoil it but there's like action going on so I might read a little bit more but I will see y'all tomorrow on Saturday. Hi guys, it is Saturday, and on Saturday I was on my phone for 3 hours and 13 minutes. So not my worst, but definitely not my best. I read to chapter 11 yesterday, um, and I've been tabbing so much, I really like it. I'm going to set the timer and then read for a little bit. I'm going to see the Barbie movie again today, so I'll probably do majority of my reading in the afternoon. Um, but I might read for just like 15-20 minutes this morning. It is 11 o'clock at night and I am absolutely I can't even talk. I'm absolutely exhausted and could definitely fall asleep right now. But we still have an hour and a half left to go. And today's the last day. Today's Saturday and I started on Sunday. So today's the last day, which it's bittersweet because I definitely read a ton of books like I think this challenge was good because it made me appreciate like if I genuinely took the time to read this often every day like I get I get through so many books and I I enjoyed them I enjoyed all the books I read but I'm also kind of glad because it like tomorrow if it's 11 o'clock and I haven't read the amount of time that I've read today then I can just go to sleep and it doesn't really matter so I am excited because my sleep schedule will hopefully be fixed after this because this definitely wasn't good for my sleep schedule. Hi guys, it is later on Sunday, and I just wanted to go over the video, like little recap of what we read. Um, I am still reading Bridgerton. I have like 50 pages left, so I can probably finish this today or tomorrow. Um, but I really like it so far. I'll talk about this one in my um, reading wrap up for July, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. First, I read One Italian Summer. Um, or I like finished it. Okay, so this will count as like half of a book. Then I read the entire book of This is Where It Ends. And then I read It Happened One Summer. And then I read half of Bridgerton. So I'd say we read a total of three books. Because we read two and then half of that. So three books in one week is really good for me. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are on them. Also, comment down below how your screen time has been doing. Bye!